Breaking, Hillary issues nasty Trump message, she went too far. Consistent with her pattern of denial and blame, former Secretary of State and failed presidential candidate, Hillary Clinton, recently criticized the Trump administration again and denied any past wrongdoing. As the Washington Examiner reported, Mrs. Clinton addressed reports that a special counsel may be appointed to investigate her involvement in the 2010 Uranium One deal, calling such a measure taken by the Trump administration an abuse of power. Mrs. Clinton made the remarks in an interview with Mother Jones, where she was questioned regarding recent reports that Attorney General Jeff Sessions has ordered senior prosecutors to determine whether or not a special counsel was needed to investigate the deal. This Uranium One story has been debunked countless times by members of the press, by independent experts, Mrs. Clinton claimed. It is nothing but a false charge that the Trump administration is trying to drum up in order to avoid attention being directed at them. I'm not concerned because I know that there is no basis to it. Her claim of the story being debunked is quite alarming, considering the damning evidence that has come to light. Several key facts have been outlined by Breitbart about the deal. The scandal was confirmed by several sources, and it was also confirmed that the FBI had revealed substantial evidence that Russian nuclear industry officials were engaged in bribery, kickbacks, extortion and money laundering prior to the deal. Instead of coming forth with the information that could have stopped the deal, they remained silent. Additionally, the Clinton Foundation received millions in donations some from Russian officials. A $2.35 million donation by Ian Telfer, a mining investor, was made while he was a Uranium One chairman when Russian state-owned Rosatom purchased the controlling share. Another $31.3 million donation, with promises of $100 million more, was provided by Frank Justra, a Canadian mining boss involved with Uranium One. Furthermore, Former President Bill Clinton received $500,000 from a Kremlin-tied bank for a speech delivered in Moscow, conveniently at the same time as the Uranium One deal. Hillary Clinton was the head of the State Department at the time, which was one of the nine federal agencies that approved of the Uranium One deal. The money collected by the Clintons and their foundation at the same time has led many to suspect, with good reason, that the Clintons may have had some connections with the involved parties. However, Mrs. Clinton appears to ignore the facts, maintaining that it's a baseless and debunked story. It will be incredibly demoralizing to people who have served at the Justice Department, under both Republicans and Democrats, because they know better, Mrs. Clinton said. But it will also send a terrible signal to our country and the world that somehow we are giving up on the kind of values that we used to live by and we used to promote worldwide. Mrs. Clinton added, if they send a signal that we're going to be like some dictatorship, like some authoritarian regime, where political opponents are going to be unfairly, fraudulently investigated, that rips at the fabric of the contract we have, that we can trust our justice system. The statement is ironic considering the baseless Russian collusion investigation speared by special counsel Robert Mueller against President Trump which has produced no evidence after more than six months. Recently, Attorney General Jeff Sessions stated that to restore the public's trust in the Department of Justice, we intend to do our work, according to the established principles of the Department of Justice. We will not be infected by politics or bias. We will only make decisions we believe are right and just. We are not going to use the department to unlawfully advance a political agenda. Whatever Hillary Clinton believes about an appointment of a special counsel matters little. If the DOJ determines that the Clintons' involvement in the uranium deal should be investigated, she won't be able to control or influence her way out of consequences.